So what? I'm a soldier. Wait, what? I can't be deployed to Iraq just because I guess hurts not our boxer. I'm a fighter though. You sit in that office just drop an order and have the nerve to be square in the face and call yourself the tougher. And yet you think that somewhere behind the desk in that office, the courage you have felt is being packed up in dirt. Makes you wonder if the reason they say behind, not beside every successful man is a woman is to hide the clear fact that a woman is nearly in close combat. Diary. See, you don't whistle at me, I'm a lady, not a dog, who let you tag me one of your inferior thugs, shallow minds blinded by a fog of like your mind. Shallow thoughts. And I'm a woman, so I must know how to cook you. And you have the guts to even think to revolt to the beauty for attention. More like your mind for attention. Well, well, in case you don't know, the knowledge of cooking doesn't come from soul in the vagina and having breasts in the perusal side and having it pass for all of the responsibility. I'm alone, not an opportunity for you to think you're needed to complete an already powerful being. Like Mariam, or do you know how Mary conceived? She never needed a man to assume in God had to And so what? God created Eve out of Adam's ribs, and she be the one beneath. While you tell yourself on and on that that coital need is just so you could fulfill his will. You see, let's say there was no will. You see, what and if agree are two words as non threatening as can be. But put those words together, and they have the ability to deny the existence in an instant. So, what if? What if God took away that word? You know, that one about you having to fulfill your wife's desires. Would you still cling to the excuse of having her for the will? Or you could just drop Eve and go perceive, right? <laughs> or we could just summarize this and get straight to asking the one question I know arises once or twice, maybe to oblivion. What if Eve never walked in your age? Does that mean you never even existed? That you and I are nothing but a mere imagination? You ask me, I don't exist without you, but neither do you without me. That makes us an equal, not an approximation, reflection. You are to me a silent to you, so lazy. Next time you're made to feel inferior, you remind that not so gentle man, which one of you both can withstand the pain for your veins and pull that? Because it's all she felt when she saw you from the back. Well, but she was so blind to think, to think right there in broad daylight. And then there's the diva, or should I say, so you can keep going saying, Oh, but one day Nigeria would have a real president. What if she doesn't? Remove the act side and you're left to a den. So, who said you need a female president to show how strong and independent you can be? It's right there, so evident that he has a vision of Queen Anina, Queen Morabi, and Zinga, Joanna of Ark, everything made of leader. So what are you waiting for? Go, be the Poseidon. You see, most men just want a woman who can engage so they can pretend in a stage to save the day. And I guess saying all this kind of makes me a sexist, but I might be, but I wouldn't sit around and wait for your go ahead to do it. I'm a woman, proud, I'm authentic, receptive, expressive, unapologetic. I'm a strong and independent being. I will not apologize for it. Thank you.